Yeah, uh, Daquan Finn out of Toledo headed to Baylor. We had Daquan on earlier today, and I had a chance to ask Devin a little bit more about Daquan Finn and Baylor and some of the homework that he did before Daquan Finn committed to Dave Aranda. Devin, we've obviously seen what Daquan has done, how he's improved as a football player, and coming from Detroit, Michigan, and now he's going to be in Waco, Texas, and what he did at Toledo and won a championship, MVP, all that. How has he grown up in your eyes as a person over the years, from not playing immediately in college to now being a coveted transfer portal quarterback? I'm firstly super proud of what he's been able to do because a lot of people, when you go through kind of those things of not being the guy and and not getting the notoriety that you may think you deserve because of how hard you work, a lot of people can't come back from that and they, they kind of – fall by the wayside, they, they say maybe it doesn't work. Maybe all this hard work is, is not working. But he's a guy that continued to work, and that just shows a different kind of intestinal fortitude that a lot of people don't have. So his emotional growth as far as being a leader, being a, a quarterback, being a guy in the community, I mean, he is world beyond what he was as a 15-, 16-year-old. And, and he's kind of aware of his surroundings in a way that helps he can help himself, but also others can lean on him to to help with their journey of, of navigating through. Maybe I'm not playing as much. or well, maybe the team, maybe the coach doesn't like me, right? That's what kids love to say. The mm-hmm. coach doesn't like me. And he went through that kind of thing. And so now he can talk to a young guy like, no, no, no. We got to look in the mirror, right? What are we doing, right? What are you doing that has put you in this position? And how do you pull yourself out? Because he's done it. And, and he had experience in Toledo where he was able to do that. So I think that he's an, an asset, obviously, on the field. But emotionally, for young guys, and, and Baylor had a young team a year ago, will still be relatively young this next coming year. He can be a, a, a service for that, and it'll help the improvement of those young guys and, and get them on the field and playing well. Devin, he's moving to Baylor. They had a struggle, no question, uh, offensively, defensively, across the board. When – he entered the portal. Obviously, there was a lot of people he could have gone. People wanted him. I mean, all over the country. Why do you think Baylor ended up with Daquan Finn? I think the, the style of offense fits him perfectly, but the most important thing, I think, in all of this is Dave Aranda and, and the kind of person he is. He's almost, I kind of described it to Daquan, uh, that in coaches calls, it's kind of like speaking with Gandhi. <laughs> it's like a, a guy who is so emotionally aware emotionally intact and and the real cool thing is he's not going to sacrifice his culture with good guys just to get the best of the best of the best player if that makes sense right he he holds his culture and what they've been able to do at Baylor obviously didn't have the season they won to a year ago with young team but the what they what he's been able to do I've been very impressed with and and him emotionally I think is going to help Jaquan so much and give him the freedom to kind of be himself and and really lead that football team. See, that's interesting because obviously the way 2022 ended, Baylor did not play well at the end and basically was just awful in a bowl game against Air Force. And then last year, wow, I mean, from the beginning. So there were and are in the fan base meeting, you can understand that. You played the game. We're like, man, there's going to be a coaching change. And and there's going to be like, does he had the best team ever that he did it? Were those what things he did and his staff, or was that because of the players were already there from the Matt Rule staff? So how much did Devin bring that up to you? And and, and even with what the wins and loss record is or has been, that that really was not much of an issue? Well, so the thing is for me, I kind of got a unique perspective getting a chance to see them and study the film, and they aren't far off. And I know fans, you know, they look at the record and, yep. and, and what have you. And they're like, man, no, we're terrible. We everybody needs to go fire everybody. Like <laughs> people used to say, Kobe Bryant would say, cut everybody. Yep. Right. And let's just restart. <laughs> and from my perspective, you know, studying the film, I, I think that they are not that far off. I think that a few balls bounce this way or that way. And I think that the most impressive thing about that Baylor team last year that did not play well is the fact that in every single game you didn't see players quitting and not playing. With, with great intensity and, and giving it everything you've got, man. I'm just telling you, when you don't win football games and all the noise outside, it is hard to stay focused on the main thing. And somehow, some way, 
Aranda was able to keep those guys united and, and playing hard. And, and I don't know if he's just a, a great salesman or what have you, but that's something that's going to be super beneficial for this team moving forward because they've seen the other side. They've seen all the bad things people are talking, talking about, talking about them. And they are going to be able to use that as a rallying cry and, and adding a piece like Daquan Finn. And obviously they're going to add a few more other pieces. I think it's going to be a good season for Baylor football. Devin, um, when you look at Jake Spavital, he was at Cal. He's been at Texas State. He, as a head coach, didn't do all that well, but he's been at AM and m and West Virginia, and you name it, mm-hmm. and he runs that offense, and they have kind of had that more – well, it's been that wide zone that was great in 21, but not the last couple of years. Have you watched what he's done too, and have you spoken with him, or has Daquan spoken to Jake Spavital much? I'm sure he has. Yeah, he spoke with them a lot, and, and they're very excited. It, I, I actually had the perspective of – calling the game with Texas State when he was at Texas State. Right? Okay. So I got a chance to see the way their offense plays, and, and he did it without a dynamic running quarterback, right? And so when you add the, the kind of passing game that he can bring with a guy with legs and, and ability, it, it's a scary sight, right? And that's why I think that a lot of fans are going to be excited with Baylor football because of those two new additions with the coordinator and the quarterback. Devin, uh, final thing about Daquan. Detroit, Michigan, Toledo. Uh, the Mud Hens, by the way, the old series of MASH uh, with Jamie Farr. But in Waco, Texas, Waco has uh, blossomed quite a bit in recent years. The economy, tourism has exploded. Baylor, obviously, with the success they've had the last uh, 10, 12 years in football, despite some ups and downs, that, that, that he's going to be coming to Waco, Texas. Your thoughts about what Baylor fans are about to experience with the Quan Finn? They're going to have some fun watching football. I can tell you that. You know, like we've talked about already, yep. he's a dynamic runner. Uh, and I think they're getting the best version of Daquan Finn. You know, I had to deal with the one that wouldn't speak up and, and the one that he kind of w- was almost like, wait, what's wrong with you? Is something wrong with you? No, it's nothing wrong with him. He's just not the kind of open up person, you know? And he's developed into that and, and a great leader. So they're going to, they didn't have to deal with all that stuff. They'll get a chance to just see the fun. Uh, Daquan Finn that loves football, loves his teammates, and and I'm just telling you, it's going to be exciting to watch, and, and I can't wait to see the show. That's Devin Gardner, former Michigan quarterback who mentors Daquan Finn, and coming up next,